Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do knotless crochet braids, which is basically crochet braids but without the loops being visible. So it looks like the hair is actually going from my scalp. So for my braid pattern, I braided cornrows going all the way back. These are 12 in number. And these three braids that I'm showing are my parts. So these are my anchor braids and I connected everything together in a horizontal way. So I'm going to do zigzag patterns all the way to the back of my head. And now I'm crocheting the ankle braids backwards and this is so that I can redo the ankle braids anytime as my hair grows. For the last part of the braid, I crochet it around the cornrow itself. So these are the three parts I have, two side parts and one middle part. The hair I used is Noble Gold Afro Twist. I cut it up so it became shorter and then I separated it to give it a more natural look. You can also comb out the ends and then proceed to separate like I did before. So now onto crocheting. This is the normal crochet method. You pass the crochet hook underneath your braid. You pull the hair underneath. You loop it once, loop it twice, and then you pull the hair and secure. I'm going to show you one more time. This is what the back is looking like. So now for my three parts, remember I said I was going to show you the knotless method. The difference is that instead of taking both ends of extensions, you take only one and loop it through. And then the other end which is left unlooped is used to cover the loop side. So one more time. You put the hook underneath and then loop twice, only on one side. And then you secure it. So this is what it looks like. You have the loops on one side and then you have the unlooped part on the other side. So when you turn it over, it's going to look like it's your own natural hair. So these are the knotless parts. And then these are the parts of the regular crochet method. The difference between the two is quite clear. One of them is a natural looking part and then the other you can see the loops being visible. Now I'm just trimming and fluffing out the hair to make it look better. All done. I have quite a bit of undergrowth, so when I'm parting it, I make sure to cover that up. So now to maintain this hair, you just have to brush it a lot. It does tangle quite a bit. If anyone is wondering if I can hold the hair, the answer is yes. So I take a bit of the extensions and use that to cover my edges. Whenever I do a hairstyle, I aim to make it look as natural as possible. You can also use stockings or a pair of tights to hold your hair for a puffier look.
So what you're seeing now is actually the same hair that I used. I have tutorials on all these styles coming up, so do subscribe so you don't miss out. Remember to hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Don't forget to like, rate, share and subscribe. If you found this video helpful, by all means do share it with your friends and connect with me through social media. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.